Well, aerial drones continue to soar in popularity, but they also continue to invade the airspace of commercial jets and helicopters far too often. As CBS 5's Jonathan Lowe shows us, that could hurt the people in the aircraft and on the ground. Around 135 miles an hour, and here in the cramped cockpit, the crew would have little to no time to react if something came through this plexiglass windshield. UAS, uh... A drone that makes its way into our rotor system. It's not a good day for anybody. Take this YouTube video. A DPS chopper flies right under someone's drone. It was hovering over Flagstaff's rodeo fairgrounds, which is restricted airspace because Flagstaff's airport is nearby. We don't know that they're there. Uh, air traffic control won't have any kind of reporting on them. In a new report, the FAA says incidents where a drone got too close to an airplane or law enforcement or medical helicopter increased dramatically in the last year. Between November 2014 and this August, there were 23 such incidents across Arizona, seven over Mesa, six over Phoenix. Glendale and Scottsdale both reported four, and Yuma saw two. The problem, the FAA says, many drone operators have little to no aviation experience. I know I'm working with other people on legislation. State Senator Jeff Dial says expect the legislature to take up this issue in the upcoming session. Ultimately, he says, something has to be done. We don't want to penalize the new technology, but we have to have safety for the public. Without that safety, there will be an incident. The FAA wants to send out a clear message. Flying a drone around an airplane or a helicopter is illegal, and operators breaking the law can face fines between $1,000 and $2,500, as well as jail time. In Phoenix, Jonathan Lowe, CBS 5 News.